Okay, so here's the situation. A new team member set up a Jenkins cluster and the CPU keeps spiking 200%. When I investigated, I found that it did not add port security policies as they heard PSPs were depreciated. The lack of port security on the cluster allowed intruders to run privileged ports and launch crypto mining workloads that causes the CPU to spike and results in large cloud provider bill. While it's true that PSPs are marked for depreciation in version 1.21, you can still use them until an entry replacement is ready. However, implementing PSPs has many challenges, which is why they are depreciated to begin with. So what's one to do? Mm -hmm. I've heard about this new CNCF project called Kiverno, which also implements port security, and I know one of the maintainers. So let's learn about it and see what it can do. Hey, Pooja, thank you for hopping on the call real quick. I am actually in the middle of a situation. So there is this Jenkins cluster, which is running a port that has security context set privilege is equal to true. Now, I want to make sure that creation of such pods are blocked. Okay, so you're looking for port security policy that can block this pod. Yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Have you tried PSPs? Um, I was thinking of implementing PSPs, but again, it has its own disadvantage. Makes sense. Uh, so did you try any other policy management tools? Um, I checked Kiverno and Opa, and I recall that you were involved in some Kiverno's project. So can you help me to understand which will be the best case to use here? Sure. So let me tell you about both Kiverno and Opa. Okay. Kiverno is a policy engine designed specifically for Kubernetes, mm -hmm. and it has a full implementation of pod security standards mm -hmm. and other policies to help secure configuration. Okay. While Opa, it is general purpose policy engine, and it provides high level declarative language that lets you write specific policy as code. It, its policy are written in Rigo. Oh, Rigo. So is there any other language to learn? Yes, but don't worry. Kiverno comes handy here. You can write policies in YAML. So no need to learn new language. Awesome. So can you show me the pod configuration so that we can check it quickly and we can decide what kind of policy we need here? Yeah. Let me share you my screen and yeah. This was the pod YAML file I was actually looking at. And if you can see the security context has set privilege is equal to true here. Yes, and I can see that it has host access, which is not secure. I so I think, yes, this Kaiverno fits very well here. It is specially designed for handling these kind of scenarios. Oh, it's really, I'm really glad to to understand that Kiverno is the best use case here. Can you tell me more about Kiverno? Sure. Kiverno actually runs as a dynamic admission controller in Kubernetes cluster. Mm -hmm. This means all the Kubernetes API requests can be validated or mutated by Kiverno policies. When we install Kiverno, it will register itself as a mutating and validating webhook. Based on the policies we define in the cluster, Kiverno can validate, mutate, or generate new configurations. Okay. Um, I have shared you a link. So let's try installing Kiverno in your cluster. Okay, so you're telling that the single link will help me to install Kiverno in my cluster? Exactly. Okay, so let me install this pretty quickly. And here it goes. I think this is getting installed. So let's wait for a while and yeah, it's created. Can you take a look at your side and check whether the configuration looks good? Yeah, sure. Okay, so here we can see Kiverno bot is running. This means Kiverno is installed in your cluster. So now coming back to your use case, first let me explain the policy structure so that you will understand it better when we apply it to your cluster. So here, we this is how our policy structures looks like. Under policies, uh, we have a collection of rules. Mm -hmm. Under rules, we can mention match and exclude clause. 
and these are the parameters which you can mention under this clause so here match match means the resources you can mention under this is on which you want to apply the policy and similarly exclude is the resources which you want to exclude and under rules you can mention three types that is mutate validate and generate so now let's cover your use case policy which i have it here oh perfect so as your uh, use case was regarding the privileged containers, this is a perfect policy for you. Mm -hmm. And this is a validate policy. Okay. So what it does is it will be applied to all the pods which will be created and it will match with this specific pattern. So here we go for the definition that validate does the uh, validation of the resource with the patterns which we mentioned here. So what this policy will do is it will go and check in the pod for this specific words, that specific keys, that is spec, init containers, security context, and privileged. So at the end, you will go for the, the policy will check for the privileged keyword, and it will check that its value is false. If the value is false, it will allow the uh, pod to get created. If it is true, then it will give this Error message. Okay. So it will block the policy. Okay. So uh, considering your use case, I have just changed a policy a bit. I have added an extra parameter that is namespace dev mm -hmm. all. So what this policy will do is it will be applied to all the pods which will be created in this specific namespace. Okay. So now let's deploy it and see how does it work. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we are trying the policy. Yeah. yeah. Now let me check. Let's be rest. So this is applied. Yeah. Now I have a sample pod panel which is similar to what you showed me. Now let's try to create this. Yeah. So here, yeah. so the pod is blocked. So now your cluster is safe from all this kind of pods and your, it is safe here now. Yeah, so this is really awesome, Pooja. While you were doing this, I was uh, thinking of some more use cases. So can you tell me some other kind of policies in Kivarno? Sure. Okay, so here are the three, three type of policies what we have. So coming to the validate policy, I have I already explained it with your use case. So let me explain you the other two types, which is generate and mutate. So coming to generate, let me take a simple example. Okay, so we have an example that is at network policies. So what validate, uh, what, what generate does is, it will uh, help you to create an additional resource on mm -hmm. creation of a new resource. So here you can see what will happen is it will be, it, this policy will be triggered when you create a new namespace and it will generate a network policy under the created namespace with this inline data. So this is a simple uh, generate policy example. You can also go and check for other uh, generate policy through this filter. Now, let me explain the mutate policy. So mutate policy are basically used for modifying the matched resources. So if you see this policy, this will add label to these matched resources. Okay, so this is awesome, Pooja. Let me go back and secure my cluster. Also, mm -hmm. wait a second, how do I learn more about Kivarno? Um, I have shared you the documentation for Kivarno. Mm -hmm. So you will find a GitHub link on the same. Mm -hmm. And there are also free workshops and training from the company like Nirmata, who mm -hmm. created Ping me in case you feel need anything else. 
Sure. Thank you. Thanks a lot. It was really helpful. Thank you a lot. Hi, my name is Dolans. I'm working as a DevOps engineer in Nirmata. Hi, this is Pooja. I'm working as software engineer in Nirmata. So today we saw how Kiverno can help secure your cluster in under five minutes. Details are available at kiverno.io. Please check this out and hope it helps. Thank you. Thank you.